All right, 6.53 right now. Let's take a look at some of the stories that we're following as you head out the door. This morning, we begin with Breck and Terry, who's monitoring traffic for us and Muscle Shoals students as they head back to class for the first day of school. Brecken. Yeah, guys, I actually just talked with the principal. She just showed up. You've now got teachers filing in here at McBride Elementary School. Keep in mind that Avalon Avenue is going to be very hectic today with back to school traffic and kids actually walking to class. Muscle Shoals Police will have multiple uh, units on standby to make sure everything runs smoothly today here in Muscle Shoals. Rodnia? Huntsville Police will hold its annual patrol safety aid orientation today. The orientation will be for both new and current crossing guards. Some of the current guards will be recognized for their years of service, with some serving 20 to 35 years. New guards will get training on directing traffic at intersections. Pat. Decatur Youth Services hosting a 23rd annual Back to School Jam. This event is this Friday from 4 to 8 p.m. Ingalls Harbor. Organizers hope to supply 1,000 students with backpacks filled with school supplies. Marie? Investigators in Marshall County worked to identify a burglary suspect. Deputies responded to a burglary at the Union Grove store on Sunday. The clerk found a brick thrown through the window and items missing inside. If you know who this person is on your screen, call the Marshall County Sheriff's Office. Will? A massive manhunt is underway for a man accused of shooting a DeKalb County, Georgia police officer. You're taking a live look at the scene where multiple agencies are searching for this man. Don't, uh, Otis Walker. Police consider him armed and dangerous, and they have issued a blue alert to try to find him. The police officer who was shot multiple times is expected to recover. Pat. Crews are searching for the pilot of that Navy fighter jet that crashed and exploded in California's Mojave Desert. No word yet on the pilot of that FA 18 Super Hornet. That plane went down during a training mission this morning. The cause of that crash is still being investigated. Utility crews have fully restored power for customers in Meridianville. Crews worked throughout the night after an afternoon storm brought down six power lines on Countess Road. The storm also bringing down a tree. The power outage affected hundreds of customers overnight.